All right, this is the generic um, interviews for the Disney Global, and this is Nina Turner. First question, why do you think fans love Wanda and Vision and their relationships so much? I think fans love Wanda and Vision's relationship because it's a really pure expression of, um, of love and, um, and there's something that's really in the in the films has been really soft and gentle and um, born out of this AI character um, understanding how to feel. And so I think I think that's kind of a, a just a beautiful story to get to watch. And there's something really gentle between the two of them. And now we get to launch them into a completely wild and different world and watch them watch them be as normal as they can be in their wildest dreams. Thank you. Where do we find Wanda and Vision as the series kicks off? We find as the series kicks off, Wanda and Vision living in the suburbs as as two people in a relationship and they are just trying to pass as normal as possible and hope that no one discovers their secret of being superheroes. What do you think when you first heard, sorry, what did you think when you first heard about the concept for WandaVision? When I first heard about the concept for WandaVision, it was with Kevin Feige and Lou Desposito. And I immediately just thought it was going to be um, a very fun and challenging way to tell a story. I, it's, um, it's an amazing opportunity to kind of reinvent the wheel. And um, we get to challenge new audience members, hopefully who don't know Marvel as well, and then we get to challenge our, our fans to um, to watch a story unfold in a totally different way, but it is still 100% MCU through and through. Um, but yeah, I immediately, immediately fell in love with the, with the idea the moment I heard it. How did you prepare for the classic sitcom style? The preparation for the for all the sitcoms um, was was started with boot camp. It started with a Matt Shackman, our our fearless director leader, boot camp with Jack Schaefer, our um, our creator, and we as an ensemble as a cast we watched every single um, direct reference for each decade, and so we kind of a associated each episode with one sitcom and we would watch um, those episodes together and then on top of it you as an actor you are trying we're trying to tell these stories authentically through sitcom so we're trying to we're trying to recreate a real sitcom show that could have been filmed with the style and the tone and how we walk how we dress how we sound and so and your mannerisms and so that would change decade to decade so that is that's physical, it's, um, it's costumes, it's, it's speech, it's where your voice comes from. So there's a lot of fun dorky actor preparation that you get to do. And then the moment it comes into Malcolm in the middle, everything becomes like super uh, cynical. And, um, and then that, that transition was, was also equally as enjoyable as um, re referencing Bewitched. Can you describe the efforts behind the scenes from costumes to production design to dialect coach to ensure the classic style was authentic throughout each era? And in addition, do you have a favorite costume? The effort that went into every single department on this show was um, beyond anything I had seen. I, the thing that's so lovely about being a part of the Marvel universe is we 
we, the amount of time that is put into and detail that's put into our sets, that's put into our costumes, it's all, um, it's just, it's some of the, it's some of the best craftsmanship that I've seen on a set ever. And um, it always continues to blow my mind in many ways. And then to do, take all that craftsmanship and really make it specific to every single decade. It was, it was beautiful to watch, to, to pick out these vintage fabrics and even just building the underpinnings of the costumes to think about the wigs and the different cuts you had to have to have a certain type of curl level and the different, um, you don't even think about this, but the different types of false eyelashes that you'd wear, the, the shape of the nails, like there's so much detail that went into what you see. Um, and even like the love that went into our set design and our props, we have one plant that Catherine brings over in the first episode and that plant grows in every single episode and you maybe will, would completely miss it, but it's there. Um, so there's just all this like, and, and our props guy, like Russell, he, he puts all these Easter eggs all over the place for our fans. And so it, the whole thing's just been um, kind of miraculous to, to watch it all come together. And um, I think it was one of the hardest jobs for every, person on the show because of um because of having to change so many decades you don't just have like one decade um that you can rely on just even doing exterior scenes and how the picket fences have to change and the flowers have to change so you just don't think about those things um I would say my favorite costume was the 70s because I loved wearing a pregnant belly um, I just thought it was so funny to watch just like a dress spread and then have two legs sticking out from the bottom. So I think that was my favorite costume. Okay, that's great. Um, let's go, let's do this one again. How did yeah. the nine episode series format allow you and Paul to explore your characters? The nine episode format of our show um, allowed for so many in-depth um, realizations for both my character and Paul's character. And um, I truly believe that in every, from, from the first episode to the last episode, the whole fabric of, of this show is built on what we have already made. Um, and so to get to kind of burst that open and um, get really specific with, with her life experiences and his throughout this show, was was really um, an incredible opportunity for both of us, and um, it allowed for us to to complicate these characters even more than um, we've been able to. So it was, and to get to work with Paul was is always the greatest joy. Um, yeah. Okay. Describe the experience of shooting episode one in front of a live audience. The episode one being shot in front of a live audience was so terrifying, <laughs> but it was so fun. There was so much adrenaline. Um, it was a perfect way to thrust us um, into sitcom land. It really ripped the bandaid off. And it was complicated though, because it's not like theater. You're not playing to an audience, you're playing to the camera, but there is an audience that you kind of want to play to. So it, it confused um, my brain a bit. But um, it really launched us bravely into full throttle sitcom mode. And um, it's an experience I'll never have again, I don't think. So I was, it was just, a, I'll keep it close to me for a long time. You've touched on this a little bit, but can you talk about working with Paul for this series? Getting to work with Paul for this long has been so so phenomenal. He and I, I think we, we both feel very lucky to um, have one another. We, 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 we work very similarly. And um, we, we discovered that during Civil War, I, I asked him if he could run lines with me or he asked me for something we were shooting next week. And we had both already memorized our scene. 
and that's not the norm. And so with this show, he and I were able to constantly um, communicate and plan and um, Matt Shackman and Jack Schaefer were so welcoming of um, our ideas of what was already there. And, um, and he and I just like, that was just how our brains worked every morning was just trying to plan for what was happening next week and how to do it or how to make it better or what we loved about it. And um, there, it's so much fun to get to work with someone who is as um, invested and excited or even brings that out in you because of their own investment. And so it, it's, um, it's a great, it's a great experience getting to work with Paul and also he's fun and funny and kind. And it's really important for us when we're the lead actors on a set for um, people to treat each other kindly. And um, and I and hopefully that may, makes people enjoy their jobs and their lives more. <laughs> and so I think we we try to put that out in the crew every day as well. And um, I think it I think it ends up being a really special experience for all of us, even with all of the crazy challenges that were thrown at us during filming. Thank you. That was great.